And I'm here with the ladies, Nanaya Tonobate and Helen Kay. Um, Nana mentioned earlier that we have our guests coming in, three gentlemen who are doing something amazing. And, and while we're just choosing the topic for today, I was just like, you know what? Let's do freeing the youth through fashion. Right? And, and I, I asked, thought, and I asked yeah, 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 yeah. And I thought, like, that was dope. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, uh, <laughs> let me officially introduce our guests on the show. Ladies and gentlemen, our guests this afternoon on the table of life join us. Free the youth. So, three gentlemen. Um, Kelly, right? Yeah. And uh, Joey and Kweku. Kweku, you did hear. If I want to, your camera did decide. <laughs> if I want to decide. Yeah, welcome, welcome to the show, though. Thank you. Thank How you was you as Bogakuro? It was great. We just got back yesterday. Me, I didn't even want to come because I was tired. Oh, oh. But yeah, but yeah, yeah, we are. <laughs> they are grateful. Oh. They are yeah, grateful. You're happy to be back home. I mean, it's part of what you signed up for, right? Yes, so, yeah. yeah. But um, I'm not going to, we all know Free the Youth. Um, I mean, on social media, we've been seeing what you're doing. But are you, how much of per, the percentage do you think you've already done in freeing the youth through your brand? Okay, Kogu, you'd have to put your microphone on. Yeah, you just press that. Yeah. I feel like each and every day um, is our responsibility. And then every day, new youth come up. So uh, mm. I feel like we just have to do it. Uh, we don't have, there's no measure to it. You feel me? Like, it's, 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 it's something we do every day. Mm. So we don't, we don't have, like, how many youth have you free? Uh, and it's not just about youth, youth. Sometimes, like, the, the, elderly, the elderly person, yeah. sometimes mm -hmm. and when, it, when they were young, they were not able to, you know, do the youthful activities. So yeah. if if you have chance now to, you know, engage in some youthful activities, like as you the youth is within you. Yeah. yeah. Literally it's not you being old or you being young. That's true. Exactly. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about their travels in the U, U, US and um but I was at the program over the weekend, right? And I was called Perry. Um we talked about fashion and I myself on this show I've I've won um MKOG you know, on, on, yeah. on this on this show. And a lot, when you work at a lot of people are like, oh, Teddy Shada, Naide, yeah. like the people then they. So I'm basically looking at it from free the youth angle that how, what are you doing to make sure that this brand is one that is sustained for a very, very long time? Yeah. That is not just yeah. about present times. Yes. So, okay. Okay, let's go ahead. <laughs> so, can you go? You know, it's actually um, with a solid foundation, you know. Mm. If, if you're putting up a building and the foundation is weak, definitely the building will collapse. But if the foundation is that strong, it's going to, you know, be there for a while. Like, and it's been a while coming. Like, people think we just started, like, last year or last two years, but we've been doing this after high school. That's around 2014. Okay. And it actually got into business around 2017-18. And like we really paid our dues, we really done our work. That's mm. why when you see us going everywhere, people being, you know, coming together, like we build our community. Yeah. When you signed up for this, and, and yeah. Joey, he's talking about high school. Um, tell us the, the, the transition really from the high school and getting onto the market and thinking about shirts. Let's do something. Like, just tell us that bit of that story. Yeah, so basically we started as a crew, you know, as a crew of like, young guys from Tema who just wanted to showcase street style in Africa, street okay. style in Ghana. So we'll dress up in like Supreme, Raf Simmons, Alexander Wang, go to like, we didn't even have our own brand by then. We just mm -hmm. dress in like other brands, go to like nice places in Ghana, post it on Tumblr or Instagram, mm -hmm. Facebook. Yeah. And so like uh, uh, when that kept going, people started liking our style, you know, and we had to sell our style to them. So. Uh, initially, our, our aim was just to showcase African style and tell the world Africa is not about war and hunger. Mm. But later on, it grew to like empowering the youth and our surroundings to uh, penetrate into world art scenes. So we, we had our first drop in 2016. It was just a t-shirt saying free the youth. Okay. And if, if you saw Kwesiata really wore that when yeah. it was going to come up, Amare before Bona. Bona. Yeah. yeah, so it's like, it, that's when it grew to what it is now, you know, so. Okay. You know what? Some, some really nice things start from Tema. Just so you know, Adenta, you're not bad. <laughs> no, like, we're both from Tema, right? So, like. Yeah. Which, which community? Oh, I was in community two for a very uh, long time. Uh, Wait, I hold on, hold on. Like BBC so, or... I, I went to Patients Daycare. Yeah. Just in the care wow. comes to get into Lang. Uh, I went to Robert Memorial behind Tema Stadium. 
Hey, and then I went to Stamas school. Uh, you really trapped me. So yeah. like, yo, yeah. like, I, mean, yeah. I went to St. Paul's. I know what this oh, school was around St. Paul's. Yeah. Yeah. And then later moved to Gulf City. So like, he still yeah. did that. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> So I I'm from Adenta, I understand. It's, it's okay. Yeah, but before I go to my main question, yeah. each one has their own role. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So Kelly, what do you do exactly? Um actually I'm the creative director for the brand and I make sure like the creative directions for it, like for the designs and for the team that we'll be using for a year or for a season. And also with the campaigns, you know, how to go about it, the strategies. And also I go with the production to, like, I make sure, check the patterns, the samples and everything, make sure it's, it's okay before we proceed with the producing it. Yeah, so. I, I think I know yours. I'll pretend I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm the designer and artistic director, so most of the designs come through me, then the team, like, solidifies it, or they carry, like, and my push, they do like a little bit of creative direction. Okay. And also, I, I do artistic direction, so like campaigns and other stuff, make sure the colors. And okay. Wow. So they actually work hand in hand. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I, I realize they are similar. Yeah. Uh, I'm also uh, <laughs> <laughs> the head of operations and yeah. logistics, you know, finance. I'm the one that. I'm the one that. The money do your side. Yeah, I'm the oh. one that oversees yeah, everything. Yeah, make sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> or everything is moving, make like, sure you know, everything is, everything is in place. Okay. Yeah, so the truth. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, so now I'll move to how are you positioning the brand yeah. on a larger scale in terms of representing the culture and the fashion world at large? Yeah, so the brand has grown to be a global brand now. Uh, we've done six countries in Europe, we just did seven states in the United States. And everywhere we go, it's like, People are already like coming out in their numbers. It's mm. all love. We are yeah. selling out, and, and you see that. that on your screen, yeah. Yeah. yeah so we yeah. are, we, uh, and that you know, like genuine. empowerment is not only Africa, and empowerment yeah. is uh, globally. So yeah. everybody that believes in like empowering themselves and yeah. also believes in like uh, making their own decisions and taking their own path in their hands is like free to you. So like it's 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 a global mission, and the brand has had its. Uh, highs and lows, yeah. but we've, we've made sure that day by day we correct everything we need to correct and put it, like, make it better and better, so. Yeah, yeah. it's, yeah. it's yeah, I want to add okay. something to, um, it's, we actually started as a fashion brand, but it's going to be a whole culture, like, brand, not just mm -hmm. fashion, yeah. but yeah. music with um, agency. art, in, art agencies and all mm -hmm. of that. Yeah. Like, as I'm, we are talking now, like, we even, um, we are like about 70% done with our first mixtape that's coming out. We, are, we have videos. Mixtape? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we like started recording. Yeah. So um, <laughs> this is how it works. We don't record. So if you said mixtape, yeah, we don't so record. Yeah. 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 So now um, we just have a camp where, you know, during the December, mm -hmm. you know, most of these artists come in, yeah, you know, yeah, to have fun, yeah. but not just to have fun, you know, we try to also utilize this opportunity to bridge the gap yeah. between yeah. the foreigns and then the local ones here. Yeah. So if we have a we have um, the likes of Vic Mensa featuring you know, artists in Ghana, mm. Chance the Rapper featuring art, uh, artists in Ghana, so trying okay. to bridge the gap, yeah. you feel yeah. me? So, because I feel like um, it's been a while. It's been a while we had, you know, big artists featuring some artists in Ghana, mm -hmm. you feel me? So uh, we've taken it upon ourselves to, you know, help, you know, bridge the gap between the um, the Western world and Africa. Yeah. 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 You, you keep saying you, you don't want to only focus on the youth, yeah. but you, you want to focus on the elderly too and, and the other people. Um, I'll ask, when, when I was doing the intro, I made mention that Street fashion has been there. Yes. But in recent times, yeah. because of the late Virgil Abloh, yeah. we had to understand it more and appreciate it. Yeah. When you started and where you are going now, when you look at streetwear currently, yeah. Yeah. how would we or you position streetwear in the world? How are consumers appreciating mm. the streetwear industry and so on and so forth? As Kelly said, uh, streetwear is much broader now. Mm -hmm. Like music, skating, uh, well, like, there's a lot around streetwear mm -hmm. now that people even don't talk about. But because yeah. if you do only clothes, there's like one million streetwear brands yeah. in the world mm -hmm. right now. So you can only do t shirt and expect it to. It has True. to be the whole culture, you yeah. know. And yeah. That's what we are trying to promote the whole culture, not mm -hmm. just like 
close. So true where is true where, but it's the whole culture behind yeah. it. Yeah, it has to have a story, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. like because even here in Ghana now we have about more than ten streetwear brands. Yeah, yeah. more than like, twenty. More yeah. than twenty. Okay. You know, everywhere. So imagine the whole world. It's about mm -hmm. a million brands. So for you to make that impact, that different, you know, you have to have a story. Yeah. Okay. To make it that street. Yeah. Like how are you solving that problem? Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the and then it's not yeah. it's not about you, you even just having a story, you making an impact. Mm -hmm. You feel yeah. me? Because um, with freely you like let's say the likes of the artists, let's say Kwesiata, B4, um, Kofi Mole, you know, yeah. we we I, I I wouldn't we 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 gave them hope, like we sold hope to them for them to you know do whatever they are doing. You get you get me. Because they were wearing our shirt yeah. and our and everything and like inspiration through yeah. the lyrics. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I think it's it's even deeper than streetwear. Yeah. You feel mm -hmm. me? And then streetwear, as I said, is is culture. Is is not just you printing clothes. That there's a 360 thing. Music, fashion. You know, it's a whole thing. It's a it's a whole system on its own. Ah. Yeah. So it's obvious that you're making a lot of money from. Sales of your t-shirts. Right. I feel like yeah, no, nobody, <laughs> make, nobody do business to lose. Yeah. Right. yeah. Sure, so it's, it's obvious you're making yeah. money. But yeah. I, you, I realize you mentioned of uh, bridging the gap between yes. musicians and yes. all that. Apart from that, what other projects are you hoping to embark on um, to help the youth? Um, we have an NGO too. Okay. So um, last year we call as it this year last mm -hmm. year we collaborated with Jordan. We, we shared pairs of sneakers and jerseys to basketball teams in Tema. Okay. And then we had a collection um, which says "Graduate." Um, any upcoming piece, graduate. Yeah, upcoming graduate. You see the the, assist, the guy on the exercise book. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, true, used, yeah true. we used him for a T-shirt, and then any T-shirt you buy, a percentage of it um, goes to the in Tema. So we used to we 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 produce exercise book like twenty. 2,000 pieces of exercise book, okay. and then we, we donated to kids in Tema too. So, and there's a lot, there's a lot. Yeah, so it's, so it's when I come into Adenta, but oh, the same everything yeah, is yeah, yeah, coming, we'll get there. But Adenta, mm -hmm. we, we, also, we also know for <laughs> basketball and no, but, then, but, then, <laughs> but, then, but then sometimes, you know, yeah. the people that are really supported yes. you on the come yeah. up, you need to, you know, yeah. home home yeah. I understand, sure they are okay. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Look, 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 uh, also, to add on to that, we also did like a program 2021. Where we had 11 students to train them of any art of their choice. Okay. They had like a six months program, and some of them yeah. are employed in our store right now. Some of yeah. them are work, have their own brands right now. Wow. Like we, we gave them like a mentorship. Yeah. 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 And, and, and then, for me, this is very good. Okay, you finish that. Um, just last year, we had the DJ set. Uh, people from Paris mm -hmm. flew in here to you know, teach teach them Ghanaians how to use the CDJs and all. So it's like, there's a lot. You guys are doing a lot. Well, this, yeah. is, this is good. And, and uh, at all, you have. Play to work to me for, for tell the story to because of course you know you know when like it's the streets right and when you have Ghanaian older folks looking at young folks trying to do the thing like hey, I, I don't know what you I mean, yeah. like, you see the way they are hey, well, a fashioner these are the things that will send a message to them that is not just about you know yeah that's why we're saying free day because when we started like it's it's kind of like new to this environment, yeah. you know, how we look. Like even with my hair, you know, most Ghanaian parents don't allow their kids to look certain way. Yeah. But yeah. definitely, you know, you can't judge a book by its, it's cover. Yeah. True. Yeah, it's the work that, that really tells. So we're trying to make that perception, like change that narrative yeah. that like, yo, oh, it's So not, it's, it's intentional that all of you have left your hair. No, it's not usually braided. Yeah. Yeah. It's usually braided. Yeah. It's our personal style. Like, I braid, he braids to bar. Yeah. I, I also braid to bar. We just came back. Yeah. 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 But you know, um, uh, we, we were on our US store yeah. and then, uh, you know, US, you wouldn't get somebody to braid. To braid well. Well. Yeah. You get my picture. So we just, we just on and then we, we all came here. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah, but yeah. To, to have a sustaining uh, business, yes. to have like a sustaining street fashion where yeah. you guys have problems. You get you go through problems. Of course, what are of some course. of the problems you have encountered over the years? Um, and are you still facing those problems or uh, as in minimum? Um, with me, Omar Food, you know, mm -hmm. Ghana, I feel like there, there is no creative hub here. Like there is no system where, you know, if a kid wants to learn how to do printing, it could, it could be, he, he can be like, oh, I'm going here to learn how to print. Like there is no system. Mm -hmm. for me. So I think like that is a struggle. And then just imagine you printing, like you producing um, clothes for let's say 2,000 cities. Mm -hmm. And then it, 
it, it gets the report and then you have to pay like four thousand cities to clear yeah. the yeah. like how do you do yeah. it yeah. like how do you yeah. you get me so i feel like these are some of the little challenges you know we've been facing for me, this is a, this is a, this is yeah. the kind of challenge I've been facing because yeah. you know I handle a lot of finance things. guy. Finance guy, you get it. Yeah. Well, what know. about you? Yeah, mm-hmm. like uh, so, when you go to countries like Switzerland, you mm-hmm. know, if you get to a certain age, the government gives you like funding to do whatever you mm-hmm. want in the creative scene. But here, like the case here, yeah, even after you design the clothes, yeah, you you go to a manufacturer, be like, I can't, I can't produce this. I don't have the, you know. Mm-hmm. So it limits your creativity to yeah. home, like. You want to do this, but the manufacturers are not here. And mm-hmm. if you want to do it outside, as you said, shipping is crazy. Yeah. So that was like the early challenge. Sometimes you, you want to like shoot a campaign, mm-hmm. but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a story to it. Yeah. Story. You, you want to yeah. shoot a campaign, but I don't know. Maybe he, he's the worst person. To <laughs> uh, you know. Like, <laughs> this has been a problem. This has been a problem from from day one. Okay. I remember. Um, Around 2016, Joey and I went to a place, like, say, I think it's a factory in Tema, you know, we actually take pictures in mm-hmm. like, yeah. a certain way, you know, like not some kind of environment. So we saw this location, I think that is cool. <laughs> when there, we, we talked to the security guy, wanted to take the like, pictures, it was like, no, 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 no. No, no, we are nuts. He's saying that we are nuts, they have sent us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and all of that. <laughs> <laughs> we really try to show them what we are doing. Well, we do. like, you know, like, yeah. I think the, the, the problem here is, is a lot, even with the individuals. Like mm. Some of the citizens here are, like, are not that open-minded. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are not that open-minded, open-minded to, to, to be like, oh, okay, like this, this is what they are doing. Okay, let me just well, then take the pictures mm. here or do something. Someone will even be like, I'm calling police. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. <laughs> and also... Um, like with the production, yeah. you no. Know, excuse me to say, like some some Ghanaians are very lazy, because um, as Jay is saying, if you wanna do something, someone will be like, I, I can't do it this way. But like, we traveling and exp- like experiencing think, a lot, yeah. we realize like what we're doing here. We're like we we have some tools here that can and do whatever they're the doing. It's just that they are serious and they're like they are they are focused and they are like perfectionists with with it because yeah. if it's making a straight stage. It's the same machine they're using. Yeah. It's yeah. really straight. It's the same print, but yeah, they'd be like, oh no, I can't do it. You know, it's too much, you know? Mm. And Sometimes they yeah. yeah. about lazy, it's just like they lack training, you know? Yeah. They, 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 are, they are not skilled in using like. Mm. Exactly. The, the machine is there, but they just don't know how yeah, to do it. But then bear with me, it's not their fault. Like in, in America, you know, if a kid wants to learn how to print, they have a facility that, you know, he can yeah, go to, so, to learn. Yeah. So from, from an infant, like the person has learned it. So growing up, it's, it's easy for them it's to use to the machine. This situation where the guy is just in his home learning how to do some some things, and then he's just watching YouTube. Excuse me, YouTube can help you, but True. YouTube can't show you the real deal. Yeah. For me, so yeah. if you bring somebody the real deal, he's able to do it, but then he doesn't do it the way to your satisfaction. Yeah. So that's where it becomes a problem. We're, we're going for a break very very soon. Yeah. But then you talking about the real deal. Yeah. You guys are all creative minds, yeah. and the creative director, creative with the lead. When you guys are picking designs, yeah. how do you go about it? As creatives, what do you look out for? What yeah. are the elements that you inculcate to make sure that this is what you want? And how do you come to a conclusion? Because you guys are individuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Most of the yeah. designs are designed like one year or two years ahead, you know. Okay. So we have designs for 2025 mm-hmm. right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. These this are all samples. This is a sample. It's not, this is a sample. Like, we're actually testing. And people okay. like it, so we are here to produce it. So this is one that's not officially out. No, 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 no. But you guys yeah, are repping yeah. it just to test the market. Yeah, but and yeah, and also, also test yeah. the quality and all quality, of that. Okay. And also in design, you know, the elements we look out for, like, you know, originality. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like the thing needs to look like Ghanaian, like yeah. Yeah. Look organic, yeah. Yeah. for me, yeah, and then other little factors too. But in designing, um, it depends. Kelly has the idea. He went mm-hmm. to went to town. He sees he sees an yeah. idea, brings it on board. Mm-hmm. Joey develops it, put it in a group. Um, Kelly shares his idea. I share my idea. We perfect it, and then it's yeah. and also That's like it. we always like make the odd decision. We don't want to do whatever everyone does. Everybody, everybody, everybody does. does. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe so, sometimes, let's say if Joey brings an idea and. I do my research or he do it with like, oh, we have seen this one, oh, then we forget it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We try and do something. Do something too, different. Yeah. Yeah. You know, most of the uh, I don't most of the designs are depicted by our community. You know, we yeah, talk yeah. to our community a lot. Okay. So yeah. what our community 
desires is what we turn into like designs. And okay. then lastly, um, we don't just design. We design to you know solve um issues. Mm -hmm. Like we we design to tell a story because okay. you know there are some stories that have been untold. Mm -hmm. Some kids don't know, and uh, you know a lot of time there are diasporans too in Ghana. People coming in and out of the country, they also don't know. So we educate people on, through um clothes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I mean, right. yeah. Example design is making headways on Twitter and yeah. stuff. You know, <laughs> examples okay. like the chair. Yes. Actually, yeah. they design the chair. <laughs> For it to be seated, you know, yeah. it has a purpose for it, for it. Yeah. like to spin and all of yeah. that. So yeah. we also trying to make the clothes also have a just purpose, like not just put it on. But I was wondering how you are able to tell those stories. For instance, he's wearing this. Yeah. If you are telling the story, how do I know now, telling the now story? Now, what he's wearing is this, not finished yet. So this not finished the story yet. is still going to be And there's more okay. about, about the logo that when yeah. you know, okay. it's like, okay. you know, yeah. red, red signifies like cereal. It's not yeah. people yeah. go yeah. like yeah. And then we have we have a shirt which says, who killed um, Kwame Nkrumah? Like, who knows? Do you know who killed Kwame okay. Nkrumah? Do you guys know who killed Kwame Nkrumah? And then the guy, the guy on the exercise book, like, do do any of us know him? Yeah. No. Exactly. When you mentioned this, I was even yeah, laughing. I was like, like, how did you get to him? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So you know, yeah. it's anytime you wear the and this, these are all graphics that okay. when we're kids, we were used to this yeah. kind of graphics. Yeah. You know, so it brings a nostalgic feeling too. too. So you know, yeah. we are all learning, educating okay. ourselves. I think so. I have to take my visual art serious and go back and just like uh, write. You do <laughs> NYTV. <Yeah. laughs> but there's no time. There's no time, eh? Anyway, you see what did I do when we were Metro Television? We were talking to Free the Youth, yeah. a vibrant Ghanaian uh, brand, you know, doing some amazing stuff. But we're going to take a break. When we come back, we get to talk about the U.S., what they did there, and the rest mm. of the year, what they've got planned coming up. Stick and stay with back, surely. Welcome back. So I ate my good this afternoon. That is like real food, but uh, not, not like Alfred's Banku. Anyways, uh, yeah. on that case of the Banku, right? So I was asking of, uh, and, and now let me put the question across, that there are questions about, you know, how price or high priced, you know, yeah. some of these outfits are. And then people tend to go get Banku versions, yeah. you know, or the low, lower budget ones. So why don't you do grade one, grade two, grade three, so that people can still get free? I don't. Like as I as I said, you just you just if if you walk into the shop, there are varieties of stuff. We have cabs which are less expensive. Mm. We have socks which are less expensive. Yeah, I mean t-shirts which are less expensive. Yeah, I some like there are some that are fifty to this. I can manage that. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. socks, the no. socks and the cap. <laughs> <laughs> you me? So I feel like people just have to walk in and buy what they are money. Yeah. Whatever they, what yeah. they you, you you don't you don't come in and you want just say and you are holding hand dressed this now we just say no cry you know the element in the just say that fifty cents to add to your account because I can't amount to cry to say to cry people like yeah. the, the banku that you are even talking about like some cost like two hundred cents yeah. like yeah. yeah. oh. the last time I bought banku was three twenty we, we just came from New York there's banku everywhere there's banku yeah. everywhere yeah. Yeah. but I, I feel like the typical Ghana man always say something is expensive. Yeah. Something yeah. Typical Ghana man. Yeah. So me, that one there, yeah, like I can't answer. But uh, me, I'm just selling my thing. Yeah. If you feel like you can't afford, you, you purchase. If you feel like yeah. you can't afford to, we we'll see ways and means we can sort you out. Okay. Sometimes we do upcycling event. You know where we take, we go outsource the clothes from Kantaman to bring it um to to the shop. You do an upside, oh, but no, you can print um, any S2 like, yeah. whole yeah. show. Okay. Yeah. And they, that's like 100 cities for the mm. t shirt. And that was a project to save the environment. Because the environment. They, they do so like a lot of clothing dumping at the Jamestown yeah. Beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we just take a lot of clothes from the thrift and change it to FTY. Okay. So, so it's like, like there are many ways to get FTY. But yeah. As I said, people want if you want the one that they go, they go, they go to is expensive. The one they do or Adam will wear it there, you have to be. Shout out to Adam though, we're in America. Yeah, we're in America. Yeah, we're in America. And that was what, like, see, we're trying to move together as a unit, right? Yeah. So the artist has to make sure the producer is Ghanaian, yeah. um, the, the DJ is Ghanaian, everybody around him is Ghanaian to push it together. We were in Miami for Afro Nation, we created a party for them. Okay. We did a pop up too. Um, the unity thing you are talking about with the South, even South African artists, how they move is crazy. crazy, crazy right? yeah. yeah, Nigerians. You see specific. one artist performing, right? Like the DJs, like majorly, you see all, all the other artists on the stage or next to him. Mm -hmm. Even 
the other stage, they have, let's say, a big artist like Benna Boy. They yeah. won't go there. They will all come, come to, to their the the artists and just yeah. support him there. Like, that's kind of the support like we need here in Ghana, whereby like, all artists, not just be music, but you know, even with videographers, you know, yeah. photographers. Everybody. And even with your outfits, yeah. so that they can yeah. perform with it. And like you said, Adam did that. Yeah. Um, and I see many colors also like going hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Jackie, 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 also, Jackie, 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 like everybody, like everybody now, they now they are supporting. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now they are supporting. All right, as we as we wrap up on the conversation, it's been like insightful. Uh, we are halfway past the year. Marco, you are Saba. Yeah. What's the, the the plan for the rest of the months? We are about to go to Europe too. Yeah, and, and do some stuff. There's a festival there called the Adland <laughs> yeah, in Paris. Okay. About 40,000 people, yeah. Okay. We're actually going to do a workshop with a printing too and also do um, our DJ set. Yeah, we have a group of DJs too. We try to, okay. yeah. So, we Ghana, so now. We have a, a festival in Ghana yeah. coming soon, though. Yeah. About to do a festival. Yeah, we're working on it. Hopefully yeah. next year. We okay. Have, early next year, we'll have a big yeah. festival. In we're gonna bring, yeah. bring in all these artists, you know, oh, travel, you know, oh. everybody, all the debuters and everyone. Yeah. 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 While, while we're on tour, too, we work like recording, recording with right. different artists. Yeah, yeah as you were saying. We're with Honorable C Note. He's a okay. producer. Mm. Yeah. Um, you know, lots of Cody stuff. Shane, Billy Rice, all these foreign artists too. So we are about what, to do a camp man? here. Show you working. Yeah. 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 Show you working. We're That's about to have a camp here too and just fuse the Ghana artists with the foreign oh, artists and do that. Okay. Yeah. Are you fulfilled? Um, no. Thank <laughs> 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 no, you. No, me, I'm not fulfilled. Yeah. 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 I feel like yeah. that. There's, there's more to yeah, do. There's, there's more to do, trust me. Because if in Ghana, you, you 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 wouldn't be able to go into a shop and then um, shop a whole fit. Like there's no brand that you can walk into their shop and then shop a whole fit. And then if you are talking about streetwear, it's every day it's, it's just free yeah, to use. But then we want to make sure that because if you go to New York, we have a lot of brands lot like of having brands. shops. Like yeah. shit, shit is going on. Like the streetwear fashion now there is huge. Okay, yeah. that's how we want to make Ghana to where like, people yeah, come not just free days, but yeah. all these yeah. other yeah. yeah. brands. Yeah. 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 Because it's beautiful, brands like. To, Going to like a city, you find different brands, everyone operating good because there's enough money for everybody. Well, for everybody, yeah. 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 everybody okay. is no hate, they're all supporting each other, you know. Yeah. Like, our people most like, like, always like to compare things. Like, we, we don't want we, that type of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. make everybody do everybody everybody yeah. job. So, that's all right. Good. So, uh, this is where we have to wrap the uh. Oh, draw the curtains down the conversation. Uh, Kelly, yeah. Bergu, and yeah. Joey making up free the youth. Big gaps yeah. to you guys for yes, coming sir. through. Nice. I wish you the very best um, through the rest of the year. Big shout out to Kilson. Also, you've got any birthdays today? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Interestingly, today, no birthday. No, that's just, that's <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching the show. <laughs> Nana. Yeah. I'll be back tomorrow. My name is Anaya Tano Abwache. I did this with the two Tema. That's one of the quick with us. That's the best of our friends. You can call me Helen K. <laughs> <laughs> Against one identity. Up next is Loose Flash.